all right you guys welcome welcome this is going to be for scorpios hi scorpios welcome back to the channel i hope that everybody is doing very very well scorpio this is going to be your first reading of the day i believe let me just move over here for a second so we're going to tap into the next 48 hours for scorpios I'm supposed to go live tonight, Scorpio, but it depends how I feel, honestly, because it's already kicking my butt. It's already kicking my butt. So let's just get into your read. All the information is in the description box. I do have two specials running for the month of May, you guys. We have a $45 special for 10 minutes, and then we have the $55 special that is back for 15 minutes. So if you want to set an appointment, let me know by email. Nothing is confirmed until payment has been received. You know how I roll, okay? And the only way to get in touch with me is by the tarot, the channel name, the tarot, well, the scene tarot, the channel name, <laughs> at gmail.com, period. There's no other emails. So let's just get entwined with the next 48 for Scorpios. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, Scorpios, I did upload videos on the second channel for all the other Zodiacs. So if you guys are a cross watcher, go over there and support, period. All right, I just released Aries, Leo, and Sag energy. And then we have Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energy that I will be releasing later on tonight i'm just giving that channel some time to process all right thank you holy spirit tell me more for the next 48 48 hours 48 hours what is it looking like for scorpio feeling like there's something that's incomplete I feel like not this not the right time to kind of like make a huge decision here this is what I'm seeing I feel like you're trying to find a new perspective in the next 48 I'm also seeing some kind of negative force of energy around you right now this could be another Gemini or a Virgo energy I'm also seeing Aries and Libra as major arcanas you guys, this is pretty strong for you. These people are coming up as a masculine. We're trying to act like they're more powerful than you or know more than you. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing like this could be a person that you're interested with because I'm seeing a transition happening here and you are like trying to be solo. This is what I'm seeing. Like you're excited. Finally, you know, you, you see something. There's a new beginning. There's a new direction. Your angels have been giving you signs and you're taking it and as soon as you're about to do this there's this energy of like okay no let's try again kind of vibe the second chance here i feel like this could be a second chance for those of you to move forward as well but i feel like or this is might be something that you love or something that you desire but i'm also seeing for the relationship vibe it is definitely something that someone that you care about okay you, like you're trying to pull away from this negative force of energy but here it is. Tell me more. This is about your power. This is about your stability. Which I'm seeing that you're going to get back. Because you gave this person power. You made them take the lead. And they kind of like messed up. You put this in the universe's hands. And you're like, you know what? I, I'm going to just trust you on this. And then here comes the lies. Oh, let me move this around. Because I'm... I moved my camera, you guys, and I forgot that I need to move my table around if I'm going to move my camera around, but, um, because this is in the way I'm, I almost felt like pushed off the table, <laughs> but I'm seeing this, um, t the seven of swords energy and the star, talk about the universe, huh, coming into play here, 
there's going to be some for some opportunity for the truth to be revealed this is all about the truth and the trials and tribulations that you have been facing as well <laughs> this is what i'm seeing like this is coming out y'all <clears throat> I'm also seeing the King of Pentacles and also the Ten of Wands and the Hypheront. Another like old fashioned energy here or an older energy. But I feel like this is a decision that is made to help something or to continue something um, or to make this work. For those of you, you could be married to this person that's coming through. Okay. Or this is someone that is older than you. A Taurus. I feel like this person is making a decision even though it's not understood. I'm also seeing security behind this, but I'm seeing the burden that they carry. You guys have a lot of history. I'm seeing history here, a cycle, a pattern. Okay. A need to protect each other here as well. This is what I'm seeing. And there's like this carrying this, even though it's so heavy. Look at the house behind it's like you need help you need help to keep this going right but you feel like you can't like you don't have that help and that's like the limit of the 10 for you this is flipped over but you guys all right you guys i had to go to the door for a second <laughs> um let's see what we have Scorpio 48. Let's see energy. Wow, the nine and well no five of cups. The five of cups here, and then you have the ten of cups. So a lot of emotional feelings or attachment is also coming here, but I just feel like you are at a point the next 48 to kind of like separate from this person you have the five of cups that even the nine of pentacles is like you really are excited about this new opportunity within your life and you're willing to just give up on this because you're really at a point that you're just realizing okay i i tried i try to make this work here this didn't work but maybe in the future this is what i'm seeing with the 10 being in the upright I'm also seeing this Knight of Pentacles. Like this person is just not giving you what you seek. Like your relationship is just not there yet. Like you feel like your connection is just not there yet. Tell me more. Ah, oh, this is weird. Next 48. It's like you still, there's still faith here though. Within the star, like something is happening within the star. I'm also seeing the page. The page of swords, we have the the tower, and we also have the ace of pentacles. <sighs> hmm, interesting. I'm seeing that um that I'm seeing like some kind of breakthrough happening here within this uh tower this is like a waste of time you're like moving on yourself but this person is coming back to rebuild this is like an immature act that they're coming back trying to rebuild because this fell apart this foundation and those of you who want this who still want this person to have a connection because i'm seeing that you're still willing to fight so that's why i say it's like a waste of time here because if you have the willingness to fight for this connection in the next 48 why are you separating all right, tell me about this connection. What is the energy? One card, please. The energy. The energy. What is the energy? Look at this. Marriage. This is someone that you are married to or are engaged to. This situation involves marriage or a wedding. It says, well, marriage. And I'm seeing the hyphen here. I know I brought that up. Something traditional. Like a lot of you, this person is choosing to work on their marriage despite what other people might think. Um, there's a lot of lies that just is in the air. There's need for clarity. This is what I'm seeing here. What's on the back? The passion. <laughs> this passion right here is way too strong. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. You know you want this. This is what, 
is what the angel messages are. Listen, don't come for me now. This is just an angel message, okay? So what's the spiritual message behind this? Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. So thank you. Wow. All right, so on the back of the deck, you have a message from Angel Gabrielle. It says, it says, dwell in the house of the divine, you guys. Look at the, the hand. The hand is like flaming with light. And I feel like with this energy, just remember to stay pure because there are some changes that are coming towards you. And the angels are just giving you a warning, okay? I'm also seeing the divine of earth. You're going to need to heal and to just sit and be calm and collective. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing peach, peach roses. I'm seeing a closed deal. Some of you were with someone that you were comfortable with or supposed to give you some kind of deal or made some kind of promises to you. This is what I'm seeing here. This was a safe choice, but <laughs> I'm seeing like a lot of you are just happy to move forward. There's a lot of red flags within the, the, the magician in reverse here. The Two of Cups energy, the angels are saying a new relationship is on the horizon. You're gonna to have to make a choice in the two. And this is gonna be over, overly emotional. So it's okay to, to be this emotion. It's okay to love. It's okay to be completely open about how you feel. There's some kind of um, conflict coming through here. Because what I'm seeing here, when I pull these cards, the only love that I see that, that you're dealing with now is like a second chance. You know, that's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing like this, this person that you're dealing with is overly emotional. Emotional. <laughs> I'm going to tap into this person's energy right now. But I just wanted to see what this was about. I had to check my lights outside, y'all, because one of them is still... Oh, both of them is on. Perfect. Because it's dark now, so it came on. I'm like, is it working? Do I need to send them back? <laughs> because those garden lights ain't check. All right, so let's see. Let's see the energy. I'm going to shuffle this. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one for this person's energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. energy of this person for Scorpios so they're saying that they're working on themselves and they're trying to be better they're trying to impress you but there's something that's going on the reason why you want to move on because this person has been cheated on you left and right multiple partnerships here there's no real you know <laughs> emotion of sorry and remember when i told you that when i was pulling cards i did not see like this person was overly emotional so there's someone else coming in for you that is totally there for you a hundred percent like one to be there for you someone new but it's by choice this is what i'm seeing here so this person is all over the place. I mean, this could be family issues, like they're choosing other people over you or they're focused on other people, but they don't have no kind of sympathy of what have taken place. Oh, wow, the Ace of Pentacles again in reverse. And then I'm seeing the Four of Swords. So you are mentally challenged within the situation. Look at the Ten of Pentacles. So they're saying that there's a family here or there is a foundation. The foundation is in reverse, y'all. I mean, they're realizing that they have lost everything, but there's also an, a, 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 a window. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. <sighs> I kicked the thing. Don't come for me. Oh, my gosh. I guess that's perfect. But let me tighten this before we fall all the way down, y'all, because that your girl is tripping. <laughs> oh, that is crazy crazy all right that's better i think anyway so we should just leave it like that um hmm 
Yeah, because the Ace of Pentacles came up in the reverse. But there's some kind of window that I'm getting. If the window is open for conversation. You have the Four of Wands here in reverse. You also have the King. See, there's a communication coming in. This is about the tower. The reason why you guys have broken up. Remember I told you this person wants to rebuild? They want to talk about this relationship. Because they feel like, you know what? There might not be a like a, <laughs> a way to move forward from this. Because the 1111 is in reverse. We have Scorpio. We have Aries here in the tower energy. This person wants to really communicate with you. Within the King of Swords. They want to send a message, you see, with that bird in their hand. Aquarius energy, for those of you. They want to send a message towards you. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. Look at Aquarius again in the star. Oh, wow. The star is in reverse. This is hopeless, helpless. The faith is gone. This person is mean. They're showing up as the King of Pentacles in reverse, or they're showing you as a King of Pentacles, but this is their energy. So there's just the, a lack of opportunity with this person. So I feel like the opportunity that I saw within the, the star is not for this person, it's actually for you. Of you coming together with someone. There is an unbalanced energy here with with this person there's a negative energy here i'm feeling this that devil energy that i know is it was it the devil uh, no it was the magician that i saw earlier that were some kind of negative force of energy that could be black magic as well just you just feel like this person can't be for you like they can't love you you know I'm just seeing like you can't like this person can't love you the way they're talking to you. This is what I'm seeing here. Like I'm just feeling like somebody is just too much masculine, too much control. Like you feel like you're being controlled here. Then you have the Ten of Swords. So there's need for forgiveness within this person's energy. They're so unbalanced with that Six of Pentacles. Like, their life is just so complicated. They're trying. The Ten of Pentacles for them, it's like the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but the Ten of Pentacles, they want to work that out. Like, whatever that is for you, could be a child, could be a business, could be money issues lined up together. Um, I'm just seeing, like, because when I shuffled the cards earlier, we got that wedding energy. And this could be a marriage. Like things are just tied up between you and this person. So they want that to stay. If it's a house, they want it to stay as healthy as possible. This person is an in and out energy. I feel like they're overwhelmed with multiple partnership. They want to make a decision here. I'm getting Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. Okay, Aquarius is coming out twice within the world and also within the the um, star energy. I'm seeing a completion happening here, okay? There's a completion happening here within this person's energy. Okay, something coming together now. Tell me about the world. Look at this high front in reverse. A lot of you might just get be getting divorced here. Like at least this person think that this is what's happening. I mean, we had the high front earlier in the upright. Scorpio, Taurus energy. Somebody is a bull. Somebody is hard headed. This is what I'm getting. Like you're, it's difficult to deal with this person talking to a brick wall. You know. You are tired. You need something more. And they're like saying that nothing that they do is enough. Like they can't get your attention. Like how it used to be. Oh gosh. You know this is just a little bit crazy here. Because it's like looking a little hopeless. You know. 
This person is giving me an energy of chasing, coming, coming towards you. This could also be sexual, so be careful of this if you want something more. But I'm also seeing like there's a blockage between you and this person. They're trying to come towards you and they're saying they're blocked because of the lies, because of the, the trapness that they put you through. Um, hmm, let me just see what messages this person got for you. Next 48 days for, for Scorpio. <laughs> Next 48 for Scorpio. What's this energy for Scorpio? Next 48. Okay, it's it hurts so much. I believe we got this already, but here it is again. It hurts so much, and then I feel alone. So there's a lot of five energy here, a lot of five vibration, a lot of adversities that y'all went through. Even the um the hyperon is five. Okay, this is a low vibration within reverse. Tell me more. For something to experience, something that you signed up for, something that you needed to experience, okay? I don't know where to start, so this person has a lot to tell you, but they don't know how you're going to take it. That's what I'm getting here. And then it is, okay, it is all too much. I had a problem reading this, don't ask me why, but it is, it is all too much. Yeah, this is like when I was reading this energy, this person's energy, they're giving me dizzy. <laughs> they're giving me all too much. This is all too much. I feel like this person wanted some form of control, but they lost control. Okay. And they're also coming off as somebody that could be very manipulating as well. So and there's a lot of healing here that needs to be done. This person haven't, haven't even started. They're holding on to too many things that people have done to them okay they have their reason but they're still holding on to it they need to let this go they need to heal they need to forgive they need to move on they need to trust again not everybody is horrible okay not everybody is horrible there is some good and decent people out there <laughs> okay there is Okay, it is, it is, is, is it over? Question mark. Wow, so this person, why do I feel this? Why? Is it over? Like they're a asking you questions. Don't know where to start. This is too much. This is overbearing. I feel like this person's energy is like, they're killing them hope, their own self here. Sabotaging their own self, making things worse. I'm seeing someone that is needy, someone that needs attention here, and they're not giving any form of attention back to you as well. I'm picking that up very strongly. Like this person wants to be loved, wants to be pampered, and this person ain't giving you that vibration, but yet they want it from you. That's crazy. Tell me more. Drama. Look at this. I hardly see this card, but it, here it is. Drama. And then it says, I wish to be like you, of course. All right. There's some form of jealousy here as well. Like they want to be like you. Okay. The heat between us is insane. Be careful because I saw like this person is chasing you. Like, again, this could be about sex. Remember I said it, you could just feel a little bit used because this person doesn't know how to do anything. They don't even know where to start with you. They need to have a conversation with you and you know what i'm picking up like this person could just make it feel like it's you and not them <laughs> how could you forever forgive the mess i've made look at the sabotage look at the sabotage come on now look at the sabotage okay no one understand me but you but sabotage okay they can't even look you in the face i can't let you go what i can't let go of you sorry so what's on the back will you leave me like the others they're having like they're listen 
this person needs counseling because like I said, like you're putting in so much positive energy and this person is sabotaging this connection. And they're asking you, will you leave me like the others? They expect you to stay due to all of this abuse. <laughs> they expect you to stay because this was supposed to be a life partnership. A lot of you probably got married to this person because I'm seeing the high front, the wedding, or a lot of you were engaged or making plans with this person, whole a whole life with this person. I'm seeing earthly energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? I'm seeing betrayal, deception, dishonesty, getting caught up. This person got caught in the trap. Look at this. Look at this mouth. They need to tell you something, but they don't know where to start. <laughs> Boundaries. You need to set boundaries. Why are they popping up everywhere you go? For those of you. A lot of you trying to get rid of this person. This is what I'm hearing. <laughs> You're trying to get rid of this person. But this was unexpected. There's some shocking news that comes in. Or coming in. Tell me more. Oh, this was unexpected. This new beginning. You didn't expect this from this person. Like, they want to try again. They're, they're finally getting the nerve to tell you. Happiness. Look at the... Protect your son, your joy. <laughs> protect your son, your joy. It says enjoyment, kindness, security. Like, this is all you in the future energy. The angels are saying to relax, okay? Because you're going to receive messages or new directions from your angel guides. It says trust your guides. Relax. You have nothing. You don't need to do nothing. You just need to surrender and trust. Again, trust is coming up here. You have to trust. Flow with it. Relax. Okay? Because you're going to be receiving messages. But there's a new beginning coming up here. This breakup is supposed to happen. I'm just getting a breakup. Oh, man. I've been getting that for you, Scorpios, for the longest time because you are arguing with somebody in the tower. Like somebody's trying to control you and you are, yeah, you could be a feminine, but this by choice. You're not just going to give anybody this, this power. And whoever this is, this is an Aries in reverse or someone that is a masculine that is trying to be over you. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing someone in reverse trying to be how you gonna be in reverse and try to be over me like that don't make no sense you make all bad decisions you'll make us lose everything dude all right it says look at that choice again wow there's going to be options it says movement choices and decisions you're gonna to have to make a choice look at the options that you got you got somebody trying to propose you got somebody that like you crushing on you got money coming in and more but trust in yourself Okay, a lot of you are staying still. The angels are like, that's not the way to live. They don't want you to live like that. They want you to move and love and spread love. Okay, there's going to be some kind of information that is coming in for you to reconsider. Okay, something is going to make sense to you. You're going to see things in a different light. Ooh, that third eye activated. Something flipped. I'm seeing flow again. You see? Flow. You have flow in the other one. Here it is again. Number 10 vibration. They don't want you to lay a finger. This flow energy. <laughs> they want you to just sit back and relax. Things are going to come together for you. But you need to believe in yourself. Next 48, y'all. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Scorpio balance is also coming back in. And I'm also hearing the magician, y'all. The magician. Okay, stay open-minded is showing itself. But I'm seeing that you have everything that you need. Okay, you're going to have choices. Something about choices because you're getting like two choices. And I'm getting that yes, that yes energy. A lot of you could be going back and forth to dimensions or seeing other lives while you slumber and you feel so real until you wake up. I'm also seeing family, happy family. So you're going to have it all with the four. <laughs> I'm hearing somebody wants your your um your destiny, honey. Somebody wants what you're going to get. Look at that. The sun, happiness, Leo vibration. 
meditation bring answers stay close to your angel guides and you're going to be okay what's on the back of the deck patience and planning <laughs> the temperance trust the divine god ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that divine Tommy. what the heck curses fell on the floor hold on is it two or one i swear it was two but i only see one y'all I only see one. <laughs> it says patience and planning, right? And then you you saw what just happened. It just fell. Okay? Perfect timing. Divine timing is at play. Trust the process. Trust the universe. Everything is coming together the way it should. Don't force things. Let it happen. You have flow twice. Surrender. Surrender, y'all. That's what I have for y'all. I hope it resonates. If it does, everything should be in the description box. Um, if it doesn't resonate, go ahead and just support anyway, Scorpio. Um, these are dangerous times on the YT. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, love y'all, and I'll see you guys in your next one. I will be trying to come live today, no promises, but if you see me, just be like, yeah, give me hearts, all right? Give me hearts. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next 48.